Uh, I want to associate myself with the comments made by, in particular, Senator Haggerty with regards to our strategic interests, particularly as they relate to, to China. Um, I, uh, uh, I, I, I sometimes um, feel that we in Congress and in the Senate um, live in fantasy land, mm. which is we think we can do everything for everybody. We think we can, uh, we can solve the problems of, uh, of health, of, uh, of food, uh, of energy, uh, the, the list goes on and on, not just here, but all over the world. And frankly, there's not enough money for that. As we think about all the projects you might do that would deal with the issues you were just described, our food challenges, energy challenges, uh, uh, creating more jobs for people, alleviating poverty. My goodness, we can't alleviate poverty here. How in the world are we going to alleviate, alleviate poverty all over the entire world? We're not. It's, it would be massively beyond our capacity. And so spending money around the world to alleviate things that yeah, we wish would go away, but we're never going to get there, would only make sense, in my view, if it has a strategic significance for us, if it's something that that deals with the interests of the United States of America and our national security. And I, I'm, I'm pleased that you indicated, yeah, that's exactly what you feel, that you have a dual mission, you consider two things. It's not easy yeah. to consider two things at once, but you recognize that a strategic interest is essential for us to make an investment by, by the DFC. Um, how, how do you evaluate a strategic interest? What, in your view, what is, a, what is the strategic interest of the United States of America? Well, advancing our foreign policy interests, I think, uh, includes greater stability, openness, uh, particularly co particular countries where we're trying to strengthen democracy uh, and our allies. Um, we take advantage of the national security strategy and all the sub-strategies for individual countries to understand in the operating environment where we're looking at deals, what the issues are and how our, our deals relate. And then in a more global sense, it's what Senator Haggerty referred to, uh, the global competition with uh, China and uh, other potential authoritarian governments. So that, that is a, a securing for us diverse supply chains and material that we need. The, these are all parts of the considerations. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on, uh, particularly with regards to the, it, when you came down to saying, yeah, with regards to China in particular, yeah. which is saying, how do we make sure that we have supply chain of the materials we need? We don't, they don't establish monopolies that keep us from be, you know, getting able to receive the, uh, the key elements that we need for our economy and so forth. Uh, that makes all the, all the sense in the world to me. How, how do you assess those uh, strategic choices? I mean, do you work with other agencies? Is it something that you deal with on your own? Um, how do you uh, decide, uh, for instance, you know, is it gonna be a port we're gonna invest in or is it gonna be a, a factory that makes widgets? Yeah, so we take input obviously from uh, all of our board agencies, so that's state, USAID, commerce and treasury, and then beyond that uh, throughout the rest of the interagency, including uh, the White House and the National Security Council. We have 600 people who are focused on doing and supporting and accounting for the deals. We need to take advantage of uh, posts on the ground, our, our embassies, uh, and colleagues throughout the interagency in order to do that. Yeah, I, I would just clo close by saying that, that I believe our strategic interests uh, and national security revolve around, if, if you will, China, Russia, authoritarian states versus ourselves, and, uh, and that it is entirely consistent with your mission, as I understand it, to invest in those things that promote our national interest, that, uh, that keep China and other authoritarian states from impeding our capacity to uh, trade with the world, to lead the world, and to have a prosperous uh, life here in the United States. Uh, and, and would encourage us and encourage your, uh, the DFC uh, effort not to say just how can we alleviate poverty around the world and how, because that's a task yeah. monumentally beyond uh, our financial capacity to instead say which things are specifically in the interest, the national security interest of the United States of America, particularly as it relates to China, because that today, that's our, that's our foreign policy and national security challenges, China, Russia, the authoritarian states. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.